everyone, and welcome back to our weekday devotions here at Calvary. Today is Ascension, the day that Jesus ascended back into heaven to be seated at the right hand of the Father. It was a wondrous event, but was it so wondrous for the disciples? As they stared up in the sky, they realized that they were alone. Their teacher and their savior, who they watched, get crucified and then rise from the dead, left them by themselves. But before Jesus went up into heaven, and even way before that, he left the disciples and even us with things to remember and take comfort. We read John 14, 1 through 4. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me also. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have, not, I would have told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that where I am, you may also be. You know where I'm going, and you know the way. Jesus told this to his disciples right before he was arrested. And even though he didn't say it on the day of ascension, it's just as applicable on ascension day. He knew what would happen to the disciples. He knew the pain and the suffering that they'd have to go through. He knew the crosses that they would have to bear. And he also knows the crosses that we have to bear. Are your hearts troubled? It's kind of hard not to look at this world and have troubled hearts with everything that's going on. And then, of course, we have things in our own lives, whether it be a medical diagnosis or the sudden death of a loved one, financial hardships, and the list can go on. And when all of these troubles start piling up, it can be difficult to see an end to it. Now, one technique therapists give to those who are suffering from anxiety is to ground themselves, in other words, put themselves in the moment and then take a step back and ask, is what you're going through going to affect you a year from now or even a week from now? It can be overwhelming now, but is it really that big of a deal? And essentially, this is what the passage is saying. It says, do not let your hearts be troubled, trust in God. And this trouble that we're going through pales in comparison to the joy that awaits us in heaven. Our life on this earth is just a raindrop compared to the ocean of eternity. And we know this is true because he tells us in this section, I will come back to take you with me so that where I am, you may also be. He's preparing a place for us. No more sadness, no more pain, no more suffering, and no more trouble. We have a place in heaven. May we never forget that. Come quickly, Lord Jesus, we pray. Lord, as we join with the disciples, staring up with awe into heaven, we ask that you be with us as you were with them. Remind us that this world is just a raindrop in the ocean compared to the joy and perfection of heaven. Give us fire and zeal to share your word until that glorious day when you come back. Amen.